So uh, recently, uh, DeWitt has been using up most of the power in the house, to which we almost ran out of power in the house. And um, most of the homeowners aren't really uh, liking his actions as of recently, so uh, I decided to do something about it. Steve! Steve said that? He's being completely irrational. I'm trying to save this company, not destroy it. Hi, uh, I'm Marty, the owner and CEO of Marty's Magazines. In case you haven't noticed, we have a little bit of a strange office here. Uh, we have rented out a house thanks to some lovely folks who let us rent out this nice desk as well as a room upstairs and their kitchen. We can't have any of their food though, but I still take it anyway. That's not going to be in it, right? Okay, good. You might be wondering, Marty, why is this tree behind you? I'm glad you asked. I think trees are sturdy and they make paper, which is what our magazines use. So you can put it together yourselves. Uh, we run Marty's Magazines. We print off magazines for all sorts of big clients. You know, we got Playboy, Playgirl, you know, we're into the Me Too. Um, and tried to get Time Magazine with us. Turns out uh, they print their own magazines. Who would have thought? But um, yeah, pretty lovely house. And I'm really looking forward to how we're going to be doing this quarter, even though we have some very strange and peculiar workers here. You might have already met Steve and Dwit. Uh, Quite the, quite the numbskulls. My favorite, personally, is Ivan. He's a Ukrainian, Im, uh, Ukrainian immigrant who I found on the streets one day uh, hitchhiking, and I thought I'd bring him in. Um, he's only lived in America for about three days now, but I think he's doing a pretty decent job. Uh, however, I'm afraid that uh, pay might be a little tight right now because, uh, boy, is this house not cheap. Who's it for? Um, Ivan? <laughs> Ivan, you've lived here for three days already. Just learn the language already. Please. Learn how to speak American already. Hey, look, it's English, okay? We're not racist, all right? We gotta show respect to our colonizers, okay? And as for the promotion, I was hoping to save it for whoever performed best this quarter. I've performed best this quarter. The quarter just started to it. Well, I've already performed best. You should give the promotion to me. Well, you can keep it up for the next three months and we'll see what you can do. Very well. Boy, that man, I don't know what to do with him, Ivan. Mm -hmm. God it, Ivan! Just, I don't even know why I talked to you. Just, let's get to work. Mm -hmm. oh, God. I cannot believe about that promotion. What promotion? The promo- Never mind. Where is that promotion? I told you, Dwight, you're gonna have to wait till the end of the quarter if you want to see it. I'm sorry. I am the best salesman here. I have the best sales, I'm the smartest, and I'm the strongest. I deserve this promotion. All right, tell you what, I wasn't going to say this until oh, it was about time, but I have hidden the promotion. Uh, it's buried somewhere deep in the backyard. That's what she said. Uh, and if you can find it, then it's all yours. All right, then. I am the smartest man alive. I know exactly where Marty 
hid the money. It's in his jacket pocket. <laughs> Have a better hiding spot, maybe in your desk, or actually bury it outside like a real treasure hunt? If I was to pinpoint where Marty hid the treasure exactly, the first place I would look would be... Marty, the money is in your jacket pocket. I know it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Do not lie to me. You cannot lie to me. Um, it's a very good guess, Dwight, but I'm afraid... Where are you going? Where are you going? Give me the money! Give me the money. You know, I don't have it! I don't have it! He has the money. <laughs> Give me the money. I don't have it, Dwight. It's not in my coat pocket. Where the it's hell in my is it? jacket pocket. There's a difference. Look it up. You're like a girl. I am a volunteer sheriff's deputy on the weekends, and I refuse to rest until I find all of that money. Every single penny. Thankfully, I was able to get Dwight off my back. Um, I successfully managed to transfer the money from my coat pocket into my jacket pocket. Right. Steve? Mm-hmm. <laughs>